The information in this video is provided for informational and educational purposes only. Hey everyone, welcome to another edition of the Morale Monologue. My name is Michael Morale. Okay, so in today's episode, I want to talk to you about epidogromab, or SRK015, which is Scholar Rock's potential treatment, which will be the first muscle-targeted therapy for those of us with SMA. And remember, epidogromab will be used in combination with Spinraza. Well, recently, the FDA awarded epidogromab fast-track status, which means that they've already got enough data to where I think the FDA is comfortable looking at it and determining as to whether or not they're going to pass it or not. And anytime that the FDA awards either fast track status or what they call priority review status, this just means that instead of it taking the normal 8 to 12 months or even longer to get approved by the FDA, once Scholar Rock files the paperwork for FDA approval, this process is actually shortened to between 3 to 6 to possibly seven months. So it's a little bit shorter time for the FDA to make a decision. But again, they don't award fast track status or priority review status for just any treatment that's being developed. They have to have enough data to know that they should be able to back up what they're talking about. So this is exciting news because if and when the FDA makes their approval, we're gonna be able to get this treatment sooner than if they had not received fast track status. So again, I'm excited about this and I hope you are as well because the shorter time that it takes, the sooner it's going to be on the market for those of us that suffer from SMA. Now, there's been a lot of questions as to whether or not epidogromab will be used in conjunction with uh, Evrisdi. You know, you gotta remember that when Scholar Rock started their clinical trial, Spinraza had already been approved but if RISD was still going through the approval process. So we don't know as of yet as to whether or not epidogromab will be able to use, uh, will be able to be used in combination with a RISD. Again, that's going to be the determination of the FDA and they'll probably make that determination when they write the actual label for epidogromab once they approve it. So we don't know as to whether or not it's going to be used in conjunction with a RISD as of yet. My thinking is that eventually it will, but at the beginning, it'll probably only be used in conjunction with Spinraza. But as soon as I find out more information, I'll be sure to let you know. So that's all I've got to say right now regarding the fast track status. And SMA News Today did a great article regarding this fast track status. And I've linked that article down in the description. So make sure that you go down, click on the link, read it for yourself, and also, show this article to your doctors as well. It'll give them some great information. All right? Okay, so I hope you enjoyed the video, and I hope you got some information out of it that you can use as well. Remember, whenever SRK015, or Epidogromab, gets approval from the FDA, this is going to revolutionize the world of SMA for those of us that suffer from this disease. And again, I hope you're as excited as I am. If you enjoyed this episode of the Morale Monologue, give me a thumbs up and please subscribe to the SMA News Today YouTube channel as well. We would greatly appreciate it. Remember, when you do subscribe, click on the bell icon. That way you'll be notified of any new videos that we produce. We at SMA News Today hope all of you have had a fantastic day. Do me a favor, this upcoming week, do something for yourself that's going to make you a better person. Until next time, take care of yourself and I'll talk to you in a couple of weeks. Bye-bye.